guys. My name is Byron with Bug Out with Byron. What up, what up, what up? Hello, my name is Byron Otto with Bug Out with Byron. How are y'all doing on this fine Thursday morning? We're going to be going over food, water, housing, breeds, land, meat, eggs, lifespan, weights, and hardness of all the chickens, ducks, and turkeys. So let's get right in. So first we have our chickens. So our perfect food for our chickens is we're going to have our chicken scraps, which is free. That's the best kind of food. Then we have sort any sorts of pellets, different brands, different ingredients in the pellets, but pellets are extremely good. And then we have fruits and vegetables. Surprisingly enough, that is extremely good food for chickens, ducks, and turkeys. Next is water. Obviously water is pretty simple. They need water. They need lots of water. So we want to give them clean water about once, maybe even twice a day, depending on how many you have. The two main chickens that we're going to be talking about is the Rhode Island chickens, as well as the hybrid chickens, which are a mix between Leghorn, Light Sussex, and Rhode Island. Here's a quick little clip showing our Rhode Island chickens and roosters. Next we'll be going over two breeds of ducks, which are khaki Campbells as well as the Swedish Blue. Then for our turkeys, we'll be going over the broad white breast turkey, as well as the bourbon red turkeys. Chickens, turkeys, and ducks are amazing starter because they have low maintenance, low food costs, low building costs for like the chicken coop versus animals such as donkeys, goats, sheep, cows, bulls, such bigger animals like that. Bigger animals require a lot more upkeep and I would not recommend them for beginners. However, like I said, turkeys, chickens, and ducks are amazing starting off. For the land, inside the coop, chicken and ducks need about three square foot per head. So if you have one, obviously you don't have to have that big, but we recommend about six so that can, they can be in a little pack. So six times three is 18. So if you build around a 20 square foot coop, that is a perfect amount for your chickens and ducks. Here's a short little clip, clip showing Quacky Chan and James Pond, our two khaki Campbell ducks. <laughs> Turkeys are a little bit bigger, so they'll need about six square foot in the chicken coop per head. They also need land outside, so whether you have them free ranging or in a coop or in a run that you make yourselves. So the chickens and ducks will need about eight to ten square foot per head. So whether you have six chickens or six ducks or however many you have, then you'll need to account for about eight to ten square foot of run space for each head. Turkeys, since they're bigger, where they're going to need around 10 or more square foot per head. For meat, the Bug Guy Cornish chickens are amazing sources of meat. They're not the pure meat ones, they also lay eggs, so they'll be really good. The ducks, the Khaki Campbell ducks, are really fatty and they're a really good source of meat. For the turkeys, you have the white broad or the broad white breasted turkeys that grow decently big and will have plenty of meat for you and your family for Thanksgiving. 
This is a little clip showing Tom, our broad white breasted turkey that we have. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like our big white turkey Tom. As well as if you like any of your other animals, I want you to comment below about which animal you like the best, whether it's all of our ducks, all of our turkeys, or all of our chickens. I would love to hear y'all's feedback more. I realize I'm not getting a lot of comments, so if y'all would comment and give me suggestions on my videos, as well as new video ideas, that would be greatly appreciated. Make sure to subscribe as well as uh, share to your friends and repost them on all social media platforms. Moving on to eggs. So for chickens, the Rhode Islands are perfect beginners because you can use them for meat as well as eggs. They'll produce about 260 eggs or plus a year. For the ducks, you have khaki Campbell and Swedish Blue Ducks. So they produce very good and very big salty eggs. So they'll produce normally around 250 to 300 eggs per year. That's almost one a day, guys. That is an amazing source of protein. Getting lamps out turkeys. Our turkeys will produce more around 160 to 180 eggs a year. Even though they aren't as many, they'll be a lot bigger and you don't really get turkeys just for the eggs. However, they produce amazing eggs as well. The hardiness for the chickens will be 30 to 40 degrees. After that, you may want to install a heat lamp or if you have a big enough flock, then they can produce heat themselves. But you don't want them too, too cold. They're not super hardy animals in the winter time but they still will survive. However, adult chickens can weigh about five to 10 pounds. The turkeys will range between five to 24 pounds. The ducks will range between two to five pounds. Again, guys, this is all depending on the breeds that you get. Where to get all the supplies though? So you need your chickens, you need your ducks, you need your turkeys, you need all the supplies. Personally, I like going to Rural King. However, you can buy stuff on Amazon, you can buy the feeders and the waters, you can even buy chicken coops on Amazon. For pellets and stuff, Rural King, any farm machinery out, outdoor type store like Tractor and Supply, you can find perfect feed. As well as other supplies for all the chickens, ducks, and turkeys. So today was over poultry and the homesteading starter. Next video, we'll be talking about gardening. So tomorrow, we'll be shooting videos about gardening and how to start a garden what plants to grow thankfully mr mark is allowing us to videotape a lot of his gardening stuff he doesn't really know about it yet however i'm sure he won't mind at all i love you mark as said in my intro my youtube intro video we're going to be eventually starting our own homestead however right now it's not really in the budget as well as we don't have the space or land so in a couple years hopefully two max <clears throat> we'll be able to do that a lot better and maybe even post vlog videos every day or every couple of days showing you about farm lines, survival life, and firearm life. All right, guys, that's going to conclude our video about turkeys, ducks, and chickens. Like and subscribe for more. Bug out with firing.